So the 90 rated Ian Wright is here. He's only nine squads. Doesn't look too bad. He's an 88, an 87 team of the week, 86 team of the week, an 86, an 85 team of the week. An English team was 85 rated, an 81 overall bronze and silver rare. Now, I'm going to show you how to grind this. I did do a video yesterday, which is basically how to save packs. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and do your daily login upgrade. Make sure you get that because we actually get a very good pack back from it today. And in terms of cards that you should be putting into this, make sure you're putting in a bronze common. That's an off league. An off league is a card that we don't use for the league SBCs and much more. For example, an Indian league player. Now, once you've submitted that, it's going to give you a two rare gold players pack, as well as an extra pack in the objective, which I'll go ahead and show you. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to complete Ian Wright myself, even though the card looks really good. Four star, five star is one of those. So you get yourself one of these loans. And then on top of that, we get ourselves an 85 times five or an 84 times five. I'll go check in a minute. So we see what we get here. So it doesn't really matter who you take from this. You can see this. I do this every single day. So we haven't got anyone crazy good, unfortunately. So he can go into the club. And in terms of how to grind this, what you're essentially looking to do is you're looking to do the 83 times 10 every single time. Now, like I said, if you've seen my video on how to save packs for team of the year, I've already got a lot of them. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the two rare gold players pack that we have got from doing the daily login. Looks like it's going to be Gravendal, whatever his name is. That's not Kramovic in the end, no worries. And if that's a duplicate, it is. So you want to go ahead and sort this card out which will be into a league SBC and much more. But for now, I've just discarded it. I can recover it later. So as you can see here, we are saving packs and I won't go into too much detail because of that video. But the pack that you should get is this 84 plus times five. If you want to save it, save it, but go ahead and open it if you're looking to do Ian Wright. And you can see we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, 83 times 10 plus another three more to go. So instead of doing one of the SPCs today, I'm going to go ahead and open up one of the 83 times 10s and explain to you what you should be doing next. Because I've done a full breakdown quite a few times and I am saving packs for team of the year, I don't want to open up too many of these packs. You see here, we've got sell Spanish, CDM. Oh, I thought it was going to be Rodri, but it's not. It looks like it's going to be Coke, I think, 84 rated. So with this pack, for example, the two 84s can go into a team of the week pick. And then these other 83s, all of them can go into an 83 times 10. Now, the reason why you want to be doing the team of the week pick, which I'll show you in a second if you don't know what that looks like, is because you need to have team of the weeks for a lot of things. And if we have a look at the rating here, it's going to be an 85 with an 83 rated team and then two 84s and an 82 rated team. So with the 83 times 10, you can go ahead and use those 84s you get from it. Anything higher, then you'll have to decide what to do. But you only do that if you need a team of the week. Now, if we have a look in my club, I have got a few team of the weeks. Nothing else too crazy now. So we're going to put in our Vazquez, for example. And then we are just going to go high to low. And I'm going to go ahead and put in our, a lot of 83s in. Now, normally I recommend putting in lower rated players because you can, like 82s and stuff. But because we've got quite a lot of 83s to get through, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of them, especially if you are opening your 83 times 10. Bearing in mind that you get three every single day, I highly recommend that you do all three of them every single time. And then once you've done them, move on to the next step. I'll show you what that is once we've done this. Now, the fact that we've actually got quite a few 83s left, I'm going to go ahead and put them in. So this one and this one here. And as you can see here, a little bit over the rating, but it doesn't matter. We've completed our first 83 times 10. Now, like I've already said, just to repeat myself, go ahead and do that two more times. If you need team of the weeks, go and do team of the weeks. Make sure you're doing this crafting upgrade with off-league cards that you get from cards or packs and anything else that you're doing. And if you don't have any goals or anything like that in your club, don't worry, I'll cover you in a second. But off-league cards are going to be ones that we don't need to use for league SBC. So if we make our way through here, we can see here as we're looking, there are still quite a few that we do need to use, so it's not a problem. And you just want to go through one by one. So I'm going to go ahead and complete this off-camera now. So every single player here we don't need to use for the Premium Mixed League SBC or the Mixed League SBC. So go ahead and submit them. Get this one done as you go through. You'll get extra packs on top. And then this is going to help you complete the League SBCs at the same time. So if we go back to the store now, you will see when we go to our pack, we're looking for a three rare players pack. We're going to go ahead and open that now. If you are saving packs like I've previously mentioned and you have got over 30 packs, you need to go to the web app or the companion app on your phone to open up the packs you want to open. And as you can see here, we've got our duplicate back into our club because we're always recycling and never leaving a player behind. Really important for the grind to do that. And then as we make our way all the way over to this here. FC24 has more packs in the store than I've ever seen. We have evolutions that cost you coins and points, kit objectives that cost you coins and points. I have the perfect solution for you. Head over to you. 7 buycom select how many coins you want to purchase, select your payment method, and don't forget to select add discount and put in code NANIC for that 6% off on all orders. Link will be down in the description. 
we can then go ahead and open up this three rare players. Now, it is untradeable, but you do get some good value stuff out of this sometimes. And if not, you do get yourself a lot of good League SBC players and much more. So breaking down this pack that we've got, we've got an 83 that can go to an 83 times 10. That's an upgrade that we just did. And then we have a League SBC player. Now we're going to move over to the actual grind and what you should be doing if you're starting from absolute scratch and if you are starting with a couple of things in your club. So starting off from absolute scratch, you're going to want to go over to the upgrades tab and you are going to make your way all the way over to this daily gold upgrade. Complete this three times. You need to have 11 bronzes and 11 silvers, but every time you complete it, you get six silvers and six bronzes back. So complete it twice and then these two packs you get, you'll get four of them open them all up and put them back in. So technically, it costs you two times to do it, but you get it done three times. This 11 gold players pack, you're going to want to break down every single player into an SBC. So just like we did with the 83 times 10, any of the league SBC players go into that, and any of the off leagues, the ones you don't need, go into upgrades. Now, the league earn and error divisie SBC that we are on now, people say it's the most difficult. It's so easy now. All you need to do is go to league earn and go through every single club until you've got at least five from one club. If you've got six, it's a bonus, but at least five is what you're looking for. The reason being is you can go ahead and buy one, and then you've got it done. For example, this Nantes team here, we've got five here. We need to buy one more player, and we can complete it. But I want to go through, so make sure you're going through every single one, and there will be a team in here that you'll have enough for. And then I'll show you what to do after. So for, again, this uh, Leon here, we've got five. So we make our way to Marseille. We've got ourselves exactly six here. So that's perfect. So go ahead and drop every single one of these players into this. And even if you've got seven, go and do as many as you can. Once that's done, just move them around to get the chemistry. Once you've got the chemistry, I'll show you the next step. So let me just skip ahead now to when I get the chemistry. So you can see there, the chemistry has been done. We've got six players. And now all you want to do is save your league in for another time. Move over to the Era Divisi. Go low to high, and you're going to go ahead and put in all of your bronze commons you have. The reason why we say bronze commons or bronze res if you don't have any bronze commons is because, one, they are the lowest rated and the cheapest. And if you are doing bronze pack method a lot as well, you're going to get a lot of these for basically nothing. And as you can see there, we've completed the hardest one basically for free. This gives us a tradable pack back. Now, I always say, and I always get this question, so I'm going to say it again. With your tradable packs, no matter who you pack, whether it's player in your team, an icon, an Mbappe, the best player in the promo, if it's tradable, go ahead and sell every single player and go ahead and discard every single contract or anything that's not worth anything. So as we go into this pack now, we're going to sell all of these players. We're going to check to see if the manager sells for anything. If he does, we'll sell him. Check a contract sell. If they don't, go ahead and discard them. The same for chem styles, leagues, and everything else. TFOs, kits, badges. And then you want to go ahead and do that. So we're going to go ahead and sell these off camera now. So that's everyone been sold. Now, the reason why you do that is to keep your coin total up and you'll never start losing coins. And then with your untradeable pack. So, for example, the Libertadores and Sudamericana as we make our way over. The untradeable pack you're going to obviously have to keep, but there is things you can do with it. So let me go ahead and complete the Libertadores one very quickly. So we have got the chemistry here and we have got the rating. So that means now we can do a couple of things. We can move over to the Sudamericana and set it to low. Now, if we have some, which we do, we can go ahead and put a lot of these in. And the reason being is they have to be from separate teams. So obviously with Libertadores players, you are going to have a, a lot of the same club or same team. Make sure you put in your gold if you have a gold. And now if we back out, that should be it done. So we've got a player from the same team here. It's going to be this player here, not a problem. So I can go ahead and put in the other Libertadores or Sudamericana player I have. And now that one has been complete as well. So we get this Prime Electrum Players Pack untradeable. Now what's so good about these packs at the moment is that they are really good for doing League SPC. So as we scroll through, looking for we're looking for a Prime Electrons player pack. I'm about to scroll to the end here by the looks of it. There is there. So we get an 80 plus guaranteed, six gold, six silver, and six rare. Now, this pack is untradeable, but every single player you get in this is going to have some sort of value in it. So for example, we get Endo from Liverpool. We can then have a look. So Libertadores player is good for the SPC. Libertadores is good for an SPC. These are good for doing the upgrade that I show you. That can go into an SPC. Again, silver uh, rares can go into the Icon SPCs. That's a League SPC player, League SPC player. A silver upgrade like the daily gold upgrade that we saw. And then we have ourselves two Prem players that can go back round. Now, let's say these are both untradeable, which they are. You are then going to go back over to the League SPC. And if you have one section left to complete, like I do... Go ahead and complete that, which is going to be Bundesliga Serie A. Once you've completed this, you can then unlock the Premier League and La Liga again. Go ahead and complete that one. 
Once you do the Premier League and La Liga, it's going to give you an 82 plus small rare gold players pack. The Bundesliga one is going to be a small prime gold players pack tradable. And then completing the entire league SBC altogether is going to be a prime gold players pack, which is 82 plus again. And then you just keep rinse and repeat in that cycle. If you don't have anything in your club at all, you're going to have to do bronze pack method. Bronze pack method, then the bronze rares will go into the bronze rare bit. The silver rares that you get will go into that. If you're looking to how to get bronze and silver rare cards or anything that are silver in particular, make your way over to the upgrades and make sure you're doing the premium bronze upgrade and the premium silver upgrade, not the bronze and silver upgrade, the premium ones. You get more value back than you would normally. Then your silvers and bronzes that you get from this will then go into this daily gold upgrade until that one's complete. Once that is complete and you've got a lot of silvers, you can go and do the gold upgrade, for example, or the, the silver upgrade, sorry, to get yourself a common, or this one here, the gold common pack. Just keep rinse and repeating that round and round and round, and then you'll be able to complete any SBCs you want. Just for doing the video and anyone that has watched their way through, we're going to go ahead and complete one icon pick. So let me go and complete that, and I'll be right back. So the SB has been complete. Let's see what we get out of this. We did get a really good one last time. We got Thierry Henry, so I'll be happy with someone like that. Let's see what we get then. Oh, who'd you take out of this one? If you have any questions, comment down below and I'll catch you in the next one.